Hello everyone. I am Kinsuk Parasar and I welcome you all to Study IQ platform. In the last few sessions, we have been discussing about the different aspects of science and technology. We have seen that what are the different types of cells which are there. We have discussed about diseases. We have discussed about the other factors related to bio. Now, in this session, we are going to talk about one very significant aspect from the chemistry which is there. And we are going to talk about rare earth element. So rare earth elements, you might be uh, like uh, thinking about this, that what exactly are they? Are they rare on the surface of earth? What are they used for? What is their common uses which is there? Okay. So in this session, we are going to just talk about these rare earth elements. I am Kinsuk Parasar and you can follow me here on Telegram at this group. Okay. So see, we are going to start with the chapter of chapter 9, metal and mining. And in this, we are going to talk about rare earth elements. So in this session, we are going to learn certain aspects. We are going to see that what exactly are rare earth elements. Then we are going to examine into it. Are they really rare? Are they really scars on earth? Or if they are there, why this name is given? If they are in sufficient amount, why they have been called as rare earth element? Then we are also going to see that what are the global reserves and production of the rare earth elements? Which country is leading here? And then we are going to talk about what are the issues with it. And we are also going to see what is the status of rare earth elements in India. How much stocks we have, how much reserves we have and what is the production status as well. Okay. So let us see that what exactly are rare earth elements. Basically, there are 17 metals. There are seven metal, 17 metallic elements. Okay. And these elements, like you can see, they are also called as lanthanoids. Around 15 lanthanide elements are there and then we have also got scandium and yttrium. Okay. These two, these 17 elements, they have been called as rare earth element. Okay. Now, they all have similar chemical properties. They all are having similar chemical properties. Okay. Like, they can have some different electronic and magnetic properties, but their chemical properties is nearly same. They are called as lanthanides also. And if you have seen the periodic table in class 10th, you might have seen that just below the periodic table, there are two rows which are there. Two rows which are containing. In one of the row, you will find that lanthanides are mentioned there. So we are going to talk about these 17 metallic elements which have been called as rare earth elements. Okay. Now see. There are some of the names which you can see. We have yttrium, cerium, lanthanum. These names are there. You can see that they have been. Now, this is not a something which has been recently discovered. The first of them has been discovered in 1788. And the most recent one being the promethium, which was dis discovered in 1947. Okay. So, they are the rare earth elements which are found around the earth. These 17 earth elements, are they really rare? Are they not found on the surface? The answer is no. The rare earth element, this name is a misleading term or a misnomer because they are not rare. Okay. They are relatively plentiful on the surface of earth. In the earth crust, there is plenty amount of these rare earth elements. In fact, there is a cerium. There is one of the elements, cerium. It is the 25th most abundant element on the in the earth crust okay so it is something which is not rare okay but why then it has been called as rare they have been called as rare because their extraction method is quite difficult it is quite difficult to extract them in a profitable manner if we want to extract them profitably that is something which is challenging in nature why it is challenging because they are found in thin traces in the Various, we can say that we are found in very like uh, impurities. Okay. They are spread very thin across trace impurities. Okay. Now, in order to find the usable purity of these substances, their extraction method is quite difficult. They are found in various ores, but there is significant amount of impurities and very less amount of them. Okay. So, extraction is something which is not very much profitable or which is not very much efficient 
So while they are existing in abundant amount, they are not rare, but extracting them is not very much profitable. Remember one thing, at one point of time, aluminium was one such element which was very much difficult to extract. Okay. At the time of Napoleon III, it was even used as a part of utensils which were used in royal feasts. Okay. So those guests which were coming into the war of Napoleon III, they were given their uh, like a feast in utensils made up of aluminium. Nowadays, if you are giving someone food in aluminium utensils, they might even deny it. Okay. Or they may see it as uh, something disrespectful. But at one point of time, even aluminium was that much reputable, it was so much rare or it was so much difficult to extract it, even though it is sufficiently available. Okay. So same thing is here with rare earth elements. They are also abundant in nature, but their extraction method using the present technology is something which is still difficult. Okay. So that's why they have been given this name of rare earth element. Okay. Now, if you look at the global pattern, it is believed that China has the largest reserves of this rare earth element. China is having 44 million tons. Then we can see, like uh, in this uh, Thailand and Myanmar region, again 22 million tons is there. In Brazil also 22 million tons is there. India is also having 6.9 million tons of rare earth elements. India is having the fifth largest stock of rare earth elements after Fourth number here we have Russia. Okay. So after these countries, India is at the fifth number having the largest potential or largest reserves of rare earth element. But if we talk about production, you can see production here China is again leading, followed by Australia, United States, Myanmar, Russia, and then India. Okay. So in terms of production, we are not the fifth largest, but in terms of the potential reserves, we are one of fifth largest reserves when we are having one of the fifth largest reserves of rare earth elements okay so see now what are the issues with them what are the challenges or what are the aspects of this rare earth element okay the first thing is supply chain problem okay basically they have a very highly concentrated global supply scenario you can see that till now the majority of the till now the majority of the production is concentrated in hand of China. You can see the difference. They are producing about 1,20,000 tons of the rare earth elements. You can see all other countries combined together, they are not even reaching half of what China is producing. So China is having a global dominance in terms of production and supply of rare earth elements. Okay. And see, so there is this thing like, uh, Till a couple of years ago, China was controlling around 90% of the stockpile of rare earth. Okay. Now, its share is now 60% and even after that, like we can see that China is still controlling the rare earth elements. It is still having that monopoly or having a larger say in the supply of these goods. And one more worrying trend or one more concerning fact is, it has recently, like uh, shut down the products of the products of interesting earth components to japan okay so it like uh, it has shut down the supply of various rare earth elements to japan and now rare earth elements they are one of the prominent elements which is being used in which is being used in the electronics industry nowadays the countries all over the world they are focusing on they are focusing on the electric vehicles including india and this is one of the key things the critical uh, the rare earth elements they are in key demand in these electronic industry or electric vehicles and china is having a monopoly you can see still they are having 60 percent share in the production of this rare earth element. Okay. now if we talk about their uses they have diverse use they have diverse use like ev medical devices led in all these sections there is huge demand of rare earth elements. At the same time, the demand is increasing and increasing. Okay. Like for the assembling of electric vehicles and wind turbines, it is still in a very much huge demand. It is expected that by 2025, 
around 6000 tons of rare earth element will be required by india alone and by 2030 around 20000 tons of rare earth elements it will be demanded by india only and we have seen our production is quite low around 5000 tons okay so this is the problem right now ki by 2030 we will need around 20000 tons of this rare earth element now see there, how it is a problematic thing for us, when we are importing it, first of all we can see that we are dependent largely on China for the import of rare earth elements. The second important thing, it is a major dent on our forex reserves, we will have to spend our forex reserve. Okay. So it is a major, like when we are importing it, is it, it, is, import, it is increasing our trade deficit with China, first thing, it is also reducing our forex reserves okay the foreign currency and at the same time the global cost of the rare earth element you can see simple economics is there when there is more demand okay the prices are going to be high so here what we can see that the global cost of one such element neodymium it has increased from around 100 per kilogram dollar 100 dollar per kilogram to around 200 per kilogram so in just four years, four or five years, we can see that its prices have just become doubled. Okay. So in just four to five years, its price has just become double of it. Okay. So 100% inflation can be seen there. Okay. So this is one of the challenge with the rare earth element. What about India? How much rare earth elements we are having there? Okay. Now, India is having the fifth largest reserves of the rare earth element. Okay. But if we talk about the rare earth elements in India, it is the resource is significantly lean with respect to grade okay and it is also tied with radioactivity so the extraction process will become long complex and much more expensive and that is one of the challenges first the grade is not that much good second thing it is also associated with the radioactive components and that's why its extraction is going to be long also complex also and expensive as well now, their Indian resources, they are also having light rare earth elements, okay, whereas the heavy rare earth elements are not available in extractable quantity. The quantity which can be extracted profitably, that is not available in case of heavy rare earth element. Okay. Now, in order to exploit, okay, like uh, we can see that we have got significant amount of reserve of the rare earth element. Like we can see that. We have significant amount in comparison to US and Australia. We are just behind China, Vietnam, Russia and Brazil. Okay. So we are having significant stocks and thus what is the need of the hour? We need to enhance our technology. We need to spend, spend more on research and development for the extraction of, for the profitable extraction of rare earth elements. Okay. So they are the rare earth elements. Now government has also notified some critical elements okay critical elements are also there critical minerals are also there that is a different list so can you tell me how many critical minerals have been notified by the government tell me that in the comment box okay now see this this is the region where rare earth elements have been seen in india okay here we can see that there is deposition of monjite here okay then in these regions we have the deposition of genotime and bastanisate from where cerium can be uh, like uh, cerium can be extracted this is found in the region of west bengal okay so they are the regions where some of the rare earth elements are found in india so thank you for watching this and do tell me that what are the regions where we have where uh, what are the what is the number of critical minerals which have been found which have been notified by the government in india thank you very much all the best